God, just tell me, what is going on here? I thought that our community would get it. I really thought that, um, you know, having students have theology every single year, having a predominant Judeo-Christian community would get a lot of the themes in this show. And who doesn't like, you know, swords and armor, kings, queens, uh, a jokester, and uh, a love tale as well. I know what makes everything work. For the ones who sit backstage, we do the lights, we do the sound, we do the costumes, the makeup, but what we really kind of make is, it, we make it the experience. I'm, uh, I'm one of the leaders of Build, so it's my job to design the set, build the set, and then take it out there and work it. And then once the show starts, I'm a stage manager. I'm uh, Andres Espinera. Um, I'm playing guitar, and uh, I did a lot of uh, writing the music for the show. Oh, um, well, uh, we, we're doing a couple of themes. Uh, for a couple of characters for entrances and exits and that sort of thing and um, we kind of all worked together and came up with like some progressions and melodies and stuff to go over that sort of thing. I play said Gismundo. Uh, I play uh, Astolfo. My character is Rosara. Um, I'm Clarence. And he is the prince of, the rightful prince of Poland um, to, and his father's name is Basilio and he's the king of Poland. Early on when I was born, I actually, uh, so this is the pre-plot. Pre, pre uh, when I was born, I, on birth, my mother died, and this was a really bad omen. So my father, Basilio, decided to lock me into a tower because he predicted, he's an, he's an astronomer, he predicted that I would rise up and uh, be a tyrant and kill him and you know, take over the kingdom. And um, then one day, my character decides him that, uh, He's going to be king, but I'm not going to tell him that he's a king, and we're just going to see what happens. And from there, we have a metaphor of life is a dream because Segismundo is drugged, dragged from prison to the kingdom, from kingdom drugged, and back to prison again. And he doesn't know what's reality and what's not reality. Uh, I think it was a little bit rushed. I think we started a little bit later than we wanted. Um, and we took our time um, to kind of get into the groove of rehearsal. But I thought it, it, it worked. I thought it was given plenty of time for all of the fight choreography, the song, um, the, uh, the music to all come together for all the pieces. And just like every show, every show is given just the right amount of time to put up. No, she goes, uh, I see, okay, I yeah. see what you're saying. So I, she go, oh. if she goes up and out, I'd be more inclined. So can we just try just the beginning before the fight? Okay, can we just try the beginning yeah. to find your exit? Oh. All right, oh, we works. also thought it was weird that you exited right when Asolfo is there. Right. So go up the steps, okay, and then out this way down the steps. I know it might be a little bit around, I just don't want you close to the choreography. No, I totally get that. Let's try it just this, we won't get into the... My job is to help the students interpret the music and make them sound as beautiful as possible. Uh, well, I've been playing in pits, uh, in the pit band. I started playing in pit bands in high school. A lot of uh, dramas you see often have music um, as like scene change music or things of that nature, which you could, you know, just play songs, hit play, and have a recording, right? So, but Mr. Pintoja and myself wanted to put a little bit more life into the music. So rather than having recordings, we have live musicians instead. I think everyone did a really great job. Everyone really came together and pulled through. We have some stuff to work on, but that will be fixed by Sunday. Um, but I think everyone really came out and tried their hardest. And I'm, uh, I'm basically here till 10 o'clock every night. Yesterday went really well with the show. Grady, my understudy for Estrella, did a phenomenal job. The 
understudy performance last night was um, the second time we'd run through the show as a whole. There's some stuff we still have to work out, but we're making progress. We've only had like two rehearsals, so it's a little bit tough. No, no. We, we built it into the fight call. She's got to be around. She literally right there. She's right there. Uh, there's a lot of notes that I have uh, to, like to improve from. I wasn't, I didn't perform as as well as I wanted to yesterday. So there's a lot of stuff that I'm looking forward to improving. I'm nervous, honestly. I'm uh, I'm pumped, but I'm also really excited. Really high energy tonight. Um, I think everyone in the cast is super excited um, for the second for the second uh, preview tonight, and I think it's going to be awesome. I'm excited to preview towards the. The teachers, uh, I'm excited for them to have an opportunity to see uh, me actually perform. Thing and then uh, opening night, it's it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Regis Jesuit High School Zollner Theater in the new Performing Arts Complex. Food and drink are not allowed in the theater at any time. As always, we continue to dedicate each and every performance to the living and loving memory of Mr. Ernie DiNapoli. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Regis Jesuit High School proudly presents Life is a Dream. of life is just a dream and dreams dreams are only dreams